what you do is you fill this with water, make sure it overflows into another beaker. When it stops overflowing, put your measuring cylinder underneath like that. Ian Wright is a school teacher. He teaches science at a school in Sussex in the south of England. He teaches five days a week and he likes his job. But in his free time, Ian has another job. He's a train driver. This is the Bluebell Railway. It's a private railway. They only have old steam engines here and beautiful old carriages. About 500 people work here. They work here in their free time, not for money, but because they love the old trains. Ian Wright works here at weekends. Weekends, I get up at 5.30. I have breakfast, and then I drive from my home at Stenning to the station. It takes about 45 minutes. I arrive at the station at 7 o'clock. I meet my fireman, Russell. He cleans the engine and lights the fire. I check all the controls. Fire heats the water and makes steam. It takes two or three hours to make enough steam to drive the engine. How old are the engines, Ian? Very old. This one's 120 years old. <laughs> How much does it cost to mend an engine like this? Thousands of pounds. Well, where does the money come from? From the passengers. How long does it take? About 10 years. And then you drive them? Exactly, and we drive them. Is this your engine today? It is. It's called Baxter. It's a tank engine. How old is it? 115. <laughs> Does it go very fast? No. It travels at about 30 kilometres per hour. Ian, is it easy to drive a steam engine? No, it isn't. It's very difficult. It takes a long time to learn. What are these controls? There is the brake. It stops the train. This blows the whistle. This makes the train go faster. And in there is the fire. Whoa, that's hot. Over 250,000 passengers travel on the Bluebell Railway every year. They go from Sheffield Park Station to Horsted Keynes and back again. That's about 14 kilometres. The journey there and back takes an hour. The tickets cost three pounds for a single and six pounds for a return. Thank you. 